good morning everyone still good morning this is okay and i have only one identity just professor of communication that's it uh, now after getting all this information you know children are growing up and getting the social media and digital media then what's happening then let's see uh, today uh, I will try to explain to you why mis misinformation and disinformation about nutrition health are so widespread in traditional and digital media, the reason and what to do. I say traditional media, but the world has come to a very different place when it comes to false and ballooning information. The age of post-truth, which describes a world where is no truth, is, I think, over. This is important. We are just living in the age of digital disinformation and misinformation. Because the main source of information disseminated to the public is now digital media, including social media. Now, you know, there are, uh, this must be a different information for you, but we are categorized as the all information propaganda malinformation, disinformation, and misinformation. Propaganda <clears throat> and all these four stuff everywhere on nutrition, health, politics, history, and almost every controversial topic. Most of the time we confuse them. For example, malinformation is deliberately publishing bad images to harm someone, a product, or a brand. And for example, you are mad at your uh, girlfriend and you are disseminating uh, her uh, nude photograph. This is malinformation. It's true, but it shouldn't be. Also, you are so mad at your company and you are disseminating the ugly production photographs. This is malinformation. Also, misinformation is false, untruthful, but unintentional information. And the difference between disinformation is that it is intentional. And I emphasize controversial here, it's so important because if there is no controversial issue, it's not possible for misinformation and disinformation to find a response in the recipient. So this is the question. Why do we listen to lies, misinformation, incomplete information, and value disinformation why just only simple question this is our nature believe or not we stand for what we believe in the sentences we hear and hear again convince us this is the aha point you see aha uh -huh. same thing this is the aha uh -huh point we are you know also it's called illusion of the truth effect is a cognitive bias where people are more likely to, to believe information to be true after repeated expert exposure to it irrespective of its actual accuracy and also google search effect this is so important because search results can be influenced by algorithm search engine optimization and even intentional manipulation Disinformation campaigns or bias sources may attempt to manipulate search results to sway public opinion in a particular direction. Now everyone knows, I think. Also, third one, our nature is very prone to misperception. This is called pareidolia. This is Spanish word, I think. Is our brain's tendency to create meaningful shapes from random elements. And in all cases, it demonstrates our brain's tendency to quickly sort impressions into appropriate categories and patterns and to excessively seek order and meaningful content, even in chaotic structures, as you see on pictures. And there is another effect. It's called cum hoc. It's so hard to pronounce for me. Ergo propter hoc. This is refers to the fallacy that if two things happen at the same time, there must be a cause-effect relationship. For example, the number of stroke is decreasing, 
and the number of births is decreasing, this is the proof that storks bring babies. Do you think so? Yeah. This is our nature. Also, this is so important. Okay. Uh, maybe Ray people know this effect. It is sleeper effect. It was observed that the retention of opinion change was roughly equal for high credibility and low credibility sources. This is important. However, there was a notable increase in the opinion change for the low credibility sources after four weeks compared to immediately after receiving the communication. That means this effect was not due to forgetting the source but rather to a tendency over time to separate the source from the opinion. It is the most basic uh, uh, theory, communication theory, to explain the, uh, the digital you know, manipulation and misinformation atmosphere. Then what's the result of our nature, which is full of many errors? Let's look at samples nowadays. It's really difficult to distinguish the true from the false, the real from the fake, it gets harder every day. Let's look at it. Everybody is talking. And everybody is saying something about kind of, you know, health claims and dietitians, all doctors. Everybody wants to say something. Lots of posts, okay, about uh, education, food, diets, health, okay. And also, you know, dietitian says you have to eat this one, you have to eat that one. Good. Also, we have in Turkey, this is 500,000 followers. Look at this. This is dietitians. See? It's nice. Also entertaining. What do you think? It is Zehra Bola. Everybody knows her. See? Okay. You have to compete with these videos. Okay to educate your children, believe or not. This is important. That's great. And also, you have some physicians, you know, I think Dr. Mark Heeman, okay? He's not an academician, but he's a doctor, published more than 10 books, for example. We have John Ankaratay in Turkey, same, okay? And we know, because of her, he, she is heart and uh, internal disease expert. While margarine consumption is increasing almost all over the world, but margarine consumption is not increasing in Turkey due to her. This is interesting uh, because Karatay's unscientific statement based on her own perception. Prof Karatay, who has not made a statement about margarine lately, made housewives crazy about the kelle paça soup. Uh, with his statement about collagen. It's so important now in Turkey. Everyone wants to drink that kind of soup. This is important. No scientific proof. Also, the last one, I think you know this uh, podcast guy. It's Joe Rogan. Do you know him? I think you know him. Okay. Uh, he's 18.2 uh, million uh, followers and uh, claims a government-funded food permit declared uh, Lucky Charms cereal is healthier than the steak. What do you think? It's so easy to, you know, our nature. We understand. We know it. That's good. But this is misleading. The chart is not an official recommendation, but a visualization, visualization uh, created by the independent researchers using data from the Taft University project. We are glad that some fast-checking accounts, but they have only 50,000 uh, followers. That's it. Maybe 2,000 followers. It says, no, this study produced a scientific paper that rated the uh, helpfulness of foods to inform front of page, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what's doing this, Jorgen? Used a simple technique called framing. Okay. Hmm. All days, we are saying that it's so uh, famous in media. Now we are saying that it's famous in social media. Okay, generally framing the data. Also, generally, also this is framing. Look at this, contains 20% fat or 80% fat-free, which is true. Okay. 
Okay, on the one hand, our nature is prone to make mistakes. And on the other hand, we have thousands of lies and information. Should we despair? Should we give up the fight against this false and, mis and uh, misinformation that surround us? Not what happens if we let it go. Everybody wants to do this with a single photo, a single video, and a single post. Want to change not the community, not the country, or not the world. Want to change their life and get fame and be rich. Now, the world is getting like this, believe or not, and we have to fight. And also the advertising industry has long adopted, and I've been teaching advertising more than 40 years. And the advertising industry has long adapted to this, and they use this mechanism professionally. Now, I think you know this Quanon uh, group. Do you know it? This is important. Quanon is a far-right conspiracy theory that emerged in 2017 during the presidency of Donald Trump. According to Quanon, Trump is fighting against the deep state and international satanic pedophile network they raped the Congress building in 2021. Why? Because nobody say, you guys are lying. And people who spread controversial content may interpret the absence of contradiction as silent approval. This is important. And supporters of the extreme claims, such as the QAnon, uh, meet often see themselves as a representativeness of the silent majority. And we have to speak up. And we have to uh, say the right things. And we have to use all the, uh, you know, uh, scientific methodology, scientific uh, knowledge about the controversial topics. And we have to... Uh, for example, you know, I have to say there's a saying in Turkey, do good and throw it into the sea. If the fish doesn't know, the God knows. That's interesting. And in other words, the sea is Google, Google University. Now everybody is going to and graduated from the Google University. You have to give more information to Google University. Eating eggs, eating eggs before bed, eating eggs benefit. Okay, top 13 nutrition lies. We have to create more and more and more contents, the right contents, and to disseminate it through Google. There are lots of them. And to overcome misinformation on controversial issues, we must produce as much scientific and accurate information as we can and disseminate it on the internet and social media. We must constantly and add new courses to Google University. We must respond to influencers' for messages with counter messages in every media and file a complaint with the courts and authorized institutions. Then look at this, for example. This is the one example. Also in Tur Turkey, for several months, influencers had been sued for fraud in Turkey. And look at this also. This is another ex uh, example. And as you know, the danger of the one-sided story. We have to create the, the other side. And uh, the fact-checking side is so important. We have to create more fact-checking sites, fact-checking pages, fact-checking accounts. Love said that. But Fact-checking websites alone is not enough. It's imperative for those of us who approach challenges with a scientific mindset to actively combat individuals exploiting the inherent traits of human nature for personal gain. Then, when you see these 10 misinformation signals, be sure to check them, get involved, and make noise. One, recommendations that promise a quick fix and die warnings of danger from a single product or regimen, claim that sound too good to be true, simplistic conclusion drawn from a complex study, rec recommendations based on a single study, dramatic statements that are refused to rep reputable scientific organization, list of good and bad foods, spinning information from another product to match the producer's claim, 
stating the research is currently underway, indicating that there is no current research. And non-science uh, non biased testimonials supporting the product, often from celebrities or highly satisfied consumers. Thank you.